Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Sometimes a disaster is so spectacular, it's hard to comprehend its devastating impact. But the gusts that blew out the wall of this movie house during last month's massive Kentucky tornado proved more real than any disaster movie. This viral photo was originally posted to social media by Sean Triplett. It shows tornado debris inside the theater of an American Legion building in Mayfield, Kentucky, December 11, 2021. At 165 miles long, it was the deadliest long-track tornado ever recorded, killing 66 people and leaving the town in ruins. I find this the ultimate example of storytelling as a feature of modern news photography. The image literally puts photojournalism on par with cinema. Exactly right. When disaster strikes, people say it looks just like a movie. But here that idea is fully embodied. And I think one of the ways that it is fully embodied and is cinematic is by putting you, the viewer, in the position of the spectator. So we are sitting in the back row of this theater and that contrast of the darkness of the theater and the lightness of the outdoors really gives it a kind of watching movie quality, doesn't it? This actually says so much about news photography and the media today, the blurring of the lines between news, art, and entertainment. It's a really disorienting photograph because at first it appears as though the disaster and the destruction are only outside, as if the front of the theater has just become a window or a screen. And then you realize that in order to be able to see that destruction from inside the theater, the storm has damaged the theater as well. So there's a lot of mental gymnastics that are playing out that really symbolically echo the shock and confusion and disbelief that a storm this strong could hit in December. We have to bring it back to climate change and how much this surreal nature of what we're looking at is a reflection of how out of kilter reality is now. And I think our comment at the time on Twitter was, Mother Nature breaks the fourth wall. To me, it's really only in the collection of these images that you begin to understand not just the scope of the storm, but the extent of the damage. And when you look at the full context of the images, you really begin to see just the level of local devastation that people are facing. Yeah, the triplet photograph circulated, I think, first, but then very quickly after that, another photograph was published, and that was this one by Brandon Bell for Getty Images. When you're looking at Brandon Bell's shot, it actually is weirder in certain respects because, you know, it presents these people in seats and it emphasizes a kind of spectatorship, makes the whole thing sort of voyeuristic, models for us an audience, and the catastrophe is something more of a performance. It also makes the catastrophe more spectacular than the triplet photo, which you could say is probably more of a documentary shot, while the Brandon Bell photograph is more wall-to-wall depiction of something more like a blockbuster. 